What is going to happen in the Champions League this season? That's what I think everybody's asking. We basically, in a way, got disqualified in the last episode. We just had to forfeit most of the games. And now we are third in the group. Because of this drama, could we end up in the Europa League? Well, we'll find out in this episode as we wrap up the group stages. Amidst all that, we're top of the Premier League. And I intend to keep it that way. But it's not going to be easy. We got a Merseyside derby in this episode. We got Manchester United and Chelsea E. Even. What an episode this is going to be. It's all about the Champions League, folks. Are we actually going to get to play a Champions League game? Who freaking knows? Hopefully at least. But if you're enjoying this series, drop a like, subscribe, and let's begin. All right, so press conference, and this question might make us understand what went wrong in the Champions League for us. This has happened since they removed the Russian clubs from FIFA, and they've been removed, so there's a glitch in the Champions League in Season 3. Well, this... Oh, yeah, this is Season 3. The way to get around this is by either doing the in-game press conference, which doesn't pop up, by the way, for these Champions League games, so that's not a solution, or by going into the calendar and basically simulating. Wow, okay. Okay, so we can only simulate our last two Champions League games. So apparently, the only hope we have is to simulate these Champions League games and just hope that we finish second in the group. My God, why are we in this situation? Absolutely ridiculous, man. Next up, though, in January, you should sign a backup CDM because Gimares is your only CDM and if he gets injured, you'll have no replacement. I'm not entirely sure about that because we do have players like maybe Dele Alli or Tom Davies who can maybe fill in and do the job. Not as good as you'd expect them to. But yeah, do I want to really sign another CDM? We'll only be getting one signing in January and I'd rather use that to improve the first team in a big way. Like maybe someone better than Van Der Beek or something like that. So I'm not sure if getting a rotation player is the play for January. I guess it'll depend on a different amount of factors. Let me know your ideas for January because we'll soon be in December and then it'll be time to sign a new player for the team. But talking about Bruno Guimaraes, we've got an option now to convert him to a CDM which we are gonna do. Put him on another development plan as well to make him even more insane. There you go. One more thing. Guimaraes is unhappy with his contract. How much is he on? Well, he's on 67,000 per week. That's all. He's valued at 62 million. He deserves a new contract, man. He deserves a new contract. And let's just go ahead and give him just that. All right. Squad role important for Gimaresh. Makes sense. I would have even given him crucial if he would have asked. We'll try and give him a two-year extension time down for as long as possible. No release clause. It works for me. And he wants 100,000 per week. Decent. We'll give him that with a signing bonus. Wants 105,000. An expensive renewal, but he's our best CDM. Our only CDM in a way. So we'll pay him whatever he wants. And he's renewed with the club. Next up, people definitely underestimated Harry Kane during this transfer window and he's proved himself and he's a player to keep for the future of the series. I'm slowly seeing the opinion changing on Harry Kane in the comments. He scored like 7-8 goals in the last episode. Double hat tricks, man. Honestly, if we believe in Harry Kane, I think he's gonna bring us big trophies. And talking about Harry Kane, he ends up winning Player of the Episode. Hopefully the first of many. We are gonna start the episode by simulating this one against Leicester because they're 30 into the Premier League and can we take home a win? Yes, we can. Ben Yedda coming off the bench and scoring with Charleston adding to it as well. That's a solid win and a clean sheet. With all the chaos happening in the Champions League, I really want the focus to be the Prem this season because I feel we genuinely have a chance at the title. For now though, it's more chaos about the Champions League. What are we supposed to do? We can't play this game because the game is freaking glitched. It's so annoying what EA have done and the worst part is we are third in the group. So what do we even do? I think the only solution is going into the calendar and simulating this game. Otherwise, we'll probably end up with a 3-0 defeat. We're going to just sim this game. And this is what's going to decide whether we make the round of 16 in the Champions League or not. Absolutely chaos. Well, let's sim this and see what happens. Are we going to get a win against Atletico? Let's see what happens here. It is a 2-0 win. Let's freaking go. We are still third in this group because of how stupid it is. We'll still need to beat Galatasaray in our final group game. Oh my god, the worst thing is we can't play it. We'll have to sim it and hope for the best. Meanwhile, another Premier League game we're smashing through because they're 19th in the league and we still pick up a 2-1 win. Look at Ben Yedda doing a good job in these kind of games. I think this is where we'll find out whether we're made to win the Premier League title this season or not. We've got back-to-back -back games against Liverpool and Manchester United within three or four days. This is huge. This hasn't been Liverpool season. It's third versus fifth 
and guess what? We're third. It's time for the Merseyside Derby where we are probably the favourites. We're going to use our strongest team for this one. That's why I rested a lot of them for that West Brom game. I'm ready for this and look at Harry Kane up to a 90 overall. He's answering his doubters with the only way he knows. That Liverpool team with Salah and Mane and Jota. Scary man. They've even got Fede Valverde in that midfield. This ain't going to be easy. Let's get into this. It's a Merseyside Derby and I think we're at Anfield for this one. And it's a season where if we win at this Merseyside derby, we're going top of the league. So, yeah, this is insane. Amidst all the Champions League disappointment, we can have some incredible moments in the Prem. Oh, that's a good ball in. John Stones does well. I'm sure he's excited for this game. You know, he's playing for an Everton team, his boyhood club, with a team that can finally win these kind of games as we break through really well. And here goes Paqueta. It's a real good chance for us, Paqueta. <laughs> What's he done there? Oh my god, I thought I was going to lay it off to Richarlison because I ran out of room there, but maybe I should have just gone for goal. John Stones now. Let's see if I can get this one inside for Van Der Beek. That's brilliantly done by Van Der Beek. I think he's hearing all the transfer rumours about him. Stops it. Back inside for Paqueta. Opens up a bit of space and Lucas Paqueta making amends for his mistake earlier on. That's superb from the Brazilians. one nil up in this Merseyside derby. Let's go. We've always had a very good record against Liverpool because of how super aggressive they play. And now that our team's even better, I think we could inflict a big, big defeat on them. And let's hope this can end up in our favour. Look at Livramento bullying Sadio Mane there. And look at Van de Beek turning his man. Van de Beek is really coming into his own this season. I could maybe go for an early cross for Richarlison to attack. He almost did. Oh, this is bad. Mo Salah could be on a run. Instead, they go out wide for Chimikas. Uh, surprisingly, no Robertson at uh, Liverpool in this save as the cross comes in. Yo, John Stones is having one hell of a performance. Oh, that's a dangerous ball in. John Stones and Van de Beek making a hash out of it. Mane shoots. What's happening here? And we get it away. Oh, my God. I need to just clear the ball sometime. Oh, that space. I just saw it. And Luis Diaz is running towards goal. John Stones is trying to catch up to him. Can't. But Konsa. What's Konsa done? That was his header to win. A free goal for Liverpool in this Merseyside derby. That was avoidable. That was really, really avoidable. Oh, my God. Liverpool really utilising the pace of Luis Diaz well. Once again, he's in a position to cross... John Stones has put in an absolutely magnificent performance, man, honestly. Okay, where's our defence gone? Luis Diaz could be through on goal, completely unmarked. John Stones has tried to track back and he's done so incredibly well. But my God, we need to maintain our line, man, defensively. Otherwise, we could end up losing this. Oh my God, what have I just done? A silly way to give the ball away and that could result in disaster. Mo Salah nope. looking inside. Pickford saves us and John Stones in the end saves us again. It's a miraculous performance from John Stones. I don't know how much I've praised him in this game, but it's it's been worth it because he's been something else. Now Dybala. He's up against the defender here. Still Dybala. Too many players on him, but he does really well. Looks for Kane, who tries to turn his man. Goes down. Edge of the box. Merseyside derby. 84th minute free kick. Even the fans can't believe this. Could we score this and decide the game? Good amount of power. Curling it inside. Can Dybala put this in? It's perfect, but Alisson, no! What a chance. This was Dybala with a near-perfect free kick. Just, oh, Alisson went flying in a brilliant save. Not much time left in this game, boys. If we can get one last attack, that would be a dub. I try and find Harry Kane. Harry Kane chips the keeper. It's off the bar. No! How unlucky can we get? Kane went for something audacious. I think it was the best option as well, but just no luck in that instance. Oh, my God. And that ends in a one all draw. We could have easily won this. By the way, we still go top of the league even with a draw. So that's brilliant. But up next, we play third place Manchester United at Goodison Park. Our team hasn't even gotten a good rest in. So this is going to be a real challenge. I'll probably use Dybala as a second half sub for this game. Anthony Gordon will start. I want to play Deli Alley, of course, for this. I think we'll need to put Tom Davies in. Probably we'll bring in Lucas Digne as well. Godfrey for Stones. We'll keep Livramento. And that's how the team's going to look like. A lot of changes. 
changes. We got to do it for a game like this. We're up against Cristiano Ronaldo. By the way, got to use Man United's red kits for this one, man. Uh, why? Why not? They've still got Maguire in their team. Jose Gaia and Carvajal at their fullback positions. And Kunku is playing for them. Interesting. That's a very good ball into the box. And Ronaldo almost scored. Goal line technology probably needed for that. Liv Ramento saved us from being 1-0 down. Inside for Sancho again. I'm kind of all over defensively there. Just couldn't do anything. Manchester United take the lead. Sancho with a beauty. Oh, Tom Davies does really well to win that and could release this one for Anthony Gordon, but he's not quick enough to even beat Harry Maguire. God, I miss Dybala. Cross coming in and we might get a chance. Harry Kane on the volley. Another chance for him. No. How is Kane not scoring that? Livramento again. Looking for Anthony Gordon. Sees Kane. This time he has to. First time shot. Harry Kane ain't messing that one up. It's 1-1 against Manchester United. We're back in the game courtesy of Harry Kane. I think it's time for us to bring on Paolo Dybala into the fold. We'll also bring on Van Der Beek for Tom Davies. And yeah, crucial changes to help us win this game. Van Der Beek already having a big impact. Yes, Harry Kane could settle this one for Richarlison. And here we go, Richarlison 1v1. Goes for goal and David De Gea. How are you saving that? We can get this onto one of our defenders. He said Deli Ali might have a chance. Kane, header, cleared off the line. No. We might still have a chance here. Richarlison opens up his body. I thought he was offside, so I went for goal there. We, we really should have made a 2-1 there. Oh, no. Ronaldo still got the pace, man. And he looks out wide for Jadon Sancho. It's a proper chance, this. Cut back inside. Absolutely brilliant for Manchester United. Cristiano Ronaldo ruins our party. Look at him celebrate as well, right in front of the Everton fans. Oh, 2 1 down in a game where I think we should be winning. But the game's not over yet. We've still got Richarlison running rampant there with pace. Cross comes in. Not the best of deliveries, but we could still create something here. The game is still left. Richarlison does well. Looks for Van der Beek. Harry Kane now, if he can open up a bit of space. Out wide for Digne. Kane again. Sees Richarlison first time shot. Not enough. Uh oh, that cross is very good for Lucas Mora. What? How is he squeezed that in on the volley from there? Are you kidding me? I have no words. I have no words. Manchester United now make it 3 1. We're taking the L in this. Kane. Richarlison. Back for Kane. Does really well there. Out wide for Digne. Kane again. On the turn. It's a smart ball out wide for Livramento. Puts it back inside Dybala, but he was well offside. And that's full time. We take the L here. Well, I think it's safe to say that this Premier League title race is not going to be easy. We're, we're third in the league now after that defeat. Ah, it's completely open now. And guess what? We've got a game against Chelsea coming up soon. Meanwhile, we have the chaos in the Champions League. We got to sim this next game against Galatasaray and hope that we win. Otherwise, we're not getting into the round of 16. This uh, not ideal. Not ideal at all. All right, guys, let's just manually sim it and hope for the best. This is what's going to decide what happens in the Champions League. Oh my god. We get a draw. I don't think that'll be enough. Maybe it will. I don't know. But a defeat will send us out. It's a two-all draw. No, 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 no. No, we could be sent to the Europa League for no fault of our own. I can't believe this. I really can't. Let's see what's happened. Are you guys ready to see what's happened in the Champions League? Have we been knocked out of the Europa League? Please no, please no. We finished second in the group. Oh my my god, we've somehow avoided the pain of getting knocked out in the group stages. Uh, this, this Champions League group stage run was dramatic, even without playing a single game. But we will be playing in the round of 16, and as far as I can tell, the games will be fixed, so we will be able to play them. Can't believe career mode is this broken, but anyways, we finished second in the groups. Game against Sheffield United. We need to win this. They're 17th in the Prem, and we do end up winning this. Let's go. Next up for us is Everton versus Chelsea in the Premier League. They're top of the league. We're third. Just three points separating us. We win this, we could go above Chelsea in the league. This is huge. If we want to win the title, we got to win games like this. I'm not really going to go with my strongest 11 for this one. Chelsea with their five at the back system. It's frustrating, but hey, that's football. You just know against Chelsea... The first goal matters so much. We, we get the lead in this game and we'll be good. Right now, it's a free kick from 29 yards. Who do I take this one with? It's got to be a 
right-footed player, but nobody's got good free kicks. Oh, you know what? Maybe a power free kick with Harry Kane could just work because he's got insane power, but no accuracy on this one at all. And yep, we've just hit the wall. Not taking free kicks with Harry Kane again. I I I've learned my lesson. Although Kane here, looking for Richarlison, tries a bicycle kick. That was, yeah, that was, well, fun to watch, but couldn't pull it off. Looking back for Guimaraes. Now Dybala, if he can open up a bit of space, he can. That's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Paolo Dybala at his very best, honestly. We get the lead against Chelsea. and Let's build on this. I want to be top of the league. Oh, that's one hell of a ball for Harry Kane. Oh my God, that would have been a contender for goal of the season. Dybala with the most audacious through balls ever. Kane caught it well, but oh, Mendy, how is he saving that? What did I just see? Did you all see that? Harry Kane with the bicycle kick off the post. Trust me, man. Kane does some, so many incredible things that come off the post. It's just so unlucky. Havertz. What's he doing standing there? Has he lost his mind and Livramento just goes for him? That's an easy yellow. I, I, I thought it could have been a red card as well. And now Chelsea really getting into the groove of this game. Reese James here. Conte. They're playing some nice football and they've broken through with Reese James. Ball comes in. Ah, oh, these crosses, they always seem to get the better of me. Ah, oh, Timo Werner with the goal and it's 1-1. Ah, oh, fair enough, Chelsea. We've had our chances to take the lead, but we just haven't taken them. I think now we all know how Chelsea are going to play this game. They're just going to keep those five defenders in the back defending. And yeah, and it's going to be really hard to break away. So we'll just have to see what happens here. Although... Bit of space for Harry Kane, maybe, who breaks through. Harry Kane with a good chance. Strikes it well. I can't believe that didn't end up in a goal as well. Kane has got just no luck with him. No, 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 no. Not this way. Not this way. Not this way. Ilicic. I'm so glad he's slow as hell. Uh, but what did we just do giving them a corner like that? Just stupid stuff from us in this game. Absolutely, we could have won this game. Instead, we're, we're now fighting to just get even just a draw from this. Pickford saves, but I think it's all over. And it is. I feel like we've dropped points here. This was a tough episode. We're going to smash through this one against Brentford with the first team. I need the three points here, and we gladly get it. Harry Kane's place helps us. Even after all that, we're third in the Premier League. Still in this title fight, you know. Chelsea are just a point above us. And next episode, the January transfer window opens. We can spend the 77 million that we've got. Oh my God. Let me know in the comments what we should do. For now, though, that's that for this one. If you want to keep watching my content, click somewhere there. But yeah, drop a like, subscribe. I'll catch you all for the next Everton Epi. Peace.